Um, oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, let me just say to, um, this started out in Tuskegee, Alabama, sitting in class, and what I heard for most of my career, my life, not my career, Mr. Ritchie, would you like to join the rest of the class? <laughs> Which meant I was daydreaming, had no idea what my macroeconomics teacher was saying. I was doing that in the room. And then I realized I was definitely listening to some other place. So my fellow Martians, my fellow Martians, welcome to the other side. I'm going to say this to you and I want you to honestly believe this. I, I sat there with my father and mother and grandmother and I tried to explain to them that I'm going to venture out of the academic side of the Ritchie family and step into the world of music. We were going to be the Black Beatles, the Commodores. We were going to take over the world. I can't use the words my dad said to me at that moment. <laughs> it's Sunday and it's Mother's Day. But he was clear that I was one damn fool in the family. And then five years passed and one hit record five hit records, 10 hit records. And, and Barbara Walters was interviewing my father. And he said, Mr. Ritchie, what do you think about your son? He said, I think it is the job of every parent to stand firmly behind the child <laughs> in his endeavors. <laughs> Which means your parents can be paid off. <laughs> It's very simple. <laughs> Let me just say to you as a songwriter, I started out as a dreamer, just like you all. I started out as a kid who had ideas about the way the world should be, but I thought for a moment, how do you tell the world what's on your mind? You are sitting in the prime seat to tell the world what they need to know. And I want you to understand, I want you to understand that I started out writing a lyric. I didn't know what I was doing exactly, but it, giving my thoughts of what I thought love could be and life could be and the philosophy behind this. And then as time went on, people would come up to me and say, Lionel, I was contemplating committing suicide. And your lyrics got me through a very difficult time. Lionel, I was married on your song. Lionel, I was engaged on your song. Lionel, I was divorced on your song. <laughs> I had babies on your song. <laughs> and then I realized that what I was doing was getting through. And the day that it humbled me, in fact, there were two occasions. The first one, Nelson Mandela had just come out of prison. And we had a group of us to bring him to New York and to LA. And there were lines of people waiting to meet Madiba. And I remember he caught my eye from, I was in the back of the room, and he walked over to me, broke the line, walked over to me and he said, young man, I want to thank you for all the lyrics you've written because your words got me through many days in prison. And it was at that point, it was at that point in my life, I realized I had no words just tears. I broke down on his shoulder. I realized that I was holding my father. I was holding the struggles of a nation and a world and a culture. And I made a difference. And then the second one was last night. 
Last night, who would have ever thought the students of Berkeley would bring me to tears on my own songs? <laughs> oh my God. I have, I have performed We Are The World and I have performed those songs many times, but last night you brought back a thought in my head when you were singing We Are The World. I have enjoyed some of the greatest writings with the greatest artists of forever, but I certainly wish that Michael Jackson would have been there with me last night. To, to share. <clears throat> to share that moment, because what I saw on your faces was the enthusiasm, the passion, the drive, the love, the dreams. I saw it. You waved at me. You hugged me. I walked on stage, and I thought I was joining the Commodores all over again. <laughs> I'm going to say this to you before I close. It's over. God can only do for you what he can do through you. You are the I am in the world. You are God's tool. Use it wisely. Thank you very much for this honor. And I will definitely sing your praises as I travel around the world. God bless you. Thank you.